I mm -hmm. just wonder, <clears throat> your perspective must certainly be different when it comes to this as well, Bob. Well, I'm 100% I'm for doing something for the DACA. I really am. I, I just think that these children, when they were born here, they were victims of those people that came over illegally. There was that old philosophy, well, if their parents are illegal, they should be illegal. I don't agree with that. Mm -hmm. Don't forget, the immigration issue, we, we're impacted very much in the southwest part of our country right. mm. because we have so many immigrants mm. that came there and a lot of Mexican-Americans now that are living there, those who did become naturalized citizens, and those who are DACA. I, I, think, the, I think everybody has to clean this up and make it happen, make a pathway to citizenship, make it reasonable, and make it happen. Yeah, but that's, that's the sticking point. It's, it's the amnesty, because blanket amnesty is something that, you know, obviously is a huge issue for is. those who put uh, President Trump in office. It is. I, I don't disagree with that. I just think that those people who were victims of this and ha are innocent, Deserve and there's, there's a great pathway. deal of empathy that, there. That the, the question is, how do you deal with these people? Right. You can't deport them and there if can they're be a not path going to citizenship. That's not the, blanket amnesty, too. These people, you telling me we could probably sit down in a day and try to figure something out. <laughs> well, but let's do these it. people will complicate it because of their policy decisions and worried about votes here and there. These are kids that were born here that did nothing wrong, and we got to figure it out. And by the way, get this issue behind us because I think there's more important. Wouldn't issues. it be?